Uh, you know, reading your book, you really see that Los Angeles has this long and diverse spiritual history, everything from, you know, the Native Americans to the Azusa Street Revival and the birth of Pentecostalism to Amy Simple McPherson and the birth of the Foursquare Gospel Movement uh, to, you know, of course, the Church of Scientology to the New Age Movement and even to cults like the Children of God and occultists like Jack Parsons. There is so much history here. Why do you think Los Angeles has been this magnet for spiritual speakers? And, and, and it's a place of, I don't know how to call it, like spiritual awakening or a place where people have developed so many new spiritual groups or movements. I think there's two reasons. One is the type of people who came here were always free thinkers and wanting to get away from the more traditional types of thinking from back East. So go West young woman, go West young man, uh, I have a, a chapter entitled The Fruits and the Nuts, which people call us here to disparage yeah. us, but I think it's a, uh, something we can be proud of, that we attracted people with strange thinking, people who are with independent spirits. Uh, I guess the fruits refers to gay people. We're very happy that they come here. We're very happy that eccentric people come here. We are open to new types of thinking here. And so people rolled in and started their own religion. Say, uh, for example, certain, um, even of the traditional religions, uh, the ones that were a little more forward thinking of Methodists, Episcopalians, uh, Baptists, anything you can think of came out here to start their own trends. There were a lot of health seekers that came here. Uh, they felt they took seriously Jesus' message about healing the sick, and they felt that wasn't covered enough in traditional re religion. So they came out here, particularly around San Diego and started a lot of healing centers and or up in Ojai. And uh, people just want to do their own thing. And also, so you think of the kind of person who came out for the gold rush, like I'm going to come out here, do my own thing, strike it rich. It's just this whole mentality. I think the second reason it's here in Los Angeles is because I don't know if all your listeners believe in this, but there are people who specialize in uh, uh, charting vortexes and places of more spiritual energy. There are a lot of vortexes of spiritual energy here already. I put in my book that Hollywood is one of them and there's evidence of all the different religions that started in Hollywood. There's uh, vortexes. Joshua Tree is one of the places with the largest sightings of UFOs in the entire world. Topanga, has had a lot of sightings and so on. So it's just strange energy here <laughs> that um, attracts mm -hmm. interesting ways of thinking and believing. I like uh, reclaiming the phrase fruits and nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I like that a lot. 